and over the clouds and around the world, here comes the wild side of wildlife. The Animal Show! And now, let's have a wild welcome for your furry friends, Stinky and Jake! Now it's the Animal Show! <laughs> Hello, all you little animals out there. I'm Stinky. And I'm Jake. And our guest today is the largest animal on Earth, the whale. Mm, that's right. And we're almost ready. What do, you, what do you mean, almost ready? Oh, well, whales are big, Jake. It's taking a long time to fill the whale's tank with water. But, but you and Bunny have been filling that tank for two days. <laughs> I know, but it's got just a little bit of a leak in it. How little? Hiya, Cousin Jakey. Hi, Stinky Winky. <laughs> How little? Um, uh, well, uh, you better stand oh. on that box, Jake, oh. there, before your feet get wet. Oh. Oh. <laughs> the Animal Show, we're not just better, we're wetter. <laughs> and now it's time for... That's amazing! Today, let's look at the incredible whale. Oh, 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 my Uncle Ahab Chickenhawk knows all about whales. Yeah, isn't he the one who sold us that leaky tank? Yeah, but he gave us a whale of a deal. <laughs> oh, I'm strong. Huh? Let's look at whales that are breaching. Oh, well, what's breaching? Breaching is when a whale leaps out of the water, then crashes down with a great big splash. Wow. Uh, Uncle Ahab calls that a belly whopper. And since whales weigh as much as 53 tons, that's a whopper of a belly whopper. Mm -hmm. But breaching is great for shaking off parasites, signaling to other whales, or just for having fun. Oh. Whales that Breach. Another animal that gets my Uncle Ahab all wet and will make you say... <gasps> That's amazing! <laughs> oh, Stinky, I can't believe you got a whale tank that leaks. But Uncle Ahab gave us... I know, I know, a whale of a deal. Yeah. <laughs> I love that gag. Yeah, me too. More water coming right up! <laughs> oh, well, it's time for today's guest. From the oceans of the world... World! Please welcome Andrew, the humpback whale. And his leaky tank. This is the last time I ever send any business to Uncle Ahab, believe you me. Keep it coming, Bunny. The tank is still leaking. <laughs> Stinky, Jake, it's good to see you. Uh, hi, Andrew. Sorry about the leaky tank. Yeah. Don't worry about it. As long as you keep it filled, I'll be just fine. Well, a big fish like you deserves better. Well, thanks, Stinky, but you know, whales really aren't fish. But you got fins, you got a tail, you breathe underwater. Two out of three. Whales don't breathe underwater. Here, let me show you what I mean. Oh, a clip. Gee, Andrew, that sure looks like underwater to me. Well, it is. And we whales can spend a very long time down here by holding our breath. But then we have to come to the surface, just like this whale is doing. Now, what is that hole in the top of its head? Well, that's called a blowhole. It's how we exhale to get rid of the air in our lungs. We also have nostrils on our head to inhale fresh air. Now, how long exactly can a whale stay underwater before you have to come up for air? Some whales can stay under for hours, but humpback whales like this one have to come up every 30 minutes or so. Does that mean there's more than one kind of whale? Oh, yes, Stinky. There are 78 species of whales. I'll show you some of those other whales in a little bit. Okay. But being a humpback myself, I wanted to show you the humpbacks first. How big are humpback whales? Well, let's see. The last time I got on the scales, I was about 48 tons. Oh. Whoa, that's huge! Oh, not when you compare us to the blue whale. Blue whales can weigh up to 150 tons. 150 tons? That's right. Blue whales are bigger than the biggest dinosaur that ever lived. Well, you whales must have to eat a lot to stay so large. Oh, we do eat a lot of food, but the food we eat is usually very small. Many whales eat tiny shrimp-sized sea creatures called krill. Oh, well, how do you catch krill? We swallow thousands of gallons of water, filter out the krill, and then get rid of the water. Krill may be small, but they sure are tasty. Ah, mm -hmm. whales that eat by filtering fish from water are called baleen whales. How, How did, did you, you know, know that, that Jake? Jake? Well, I subscribe to Whale Weekly News. You know, Andrew, they have articles about the whale songs. Why do whales sing so much? Actually, whales don't sing the way humans do, but we do make noises that sound like songs. It's one of the many ways we communicate with each other. Uh. 
Now this is a school of beluga whales. And like all whales, they sing songs to communicate. Where are all these beluga whales headed? That looks like Jake's neighborhood. Well, that is Jake's neighborhood. Oh. Most whales prefer warmer waters, but the beluga has adapted to the Arctic. Arctic? I love it that cold, but don't these beluga whales get chilly in the Arctic? No, Jake, because these whales are covered with a thick layer of fat called blubber. It keeps them warm in the coldest of waters, and it even helps them float better. Jake, are you covered with blubber? <laughs> Stinky, I just need to cut back on desserts. <laughs> <laughs> well, speaking of desserts, tell us more about food. It's Stinky's favorite subject. Mm. And mine, too. We whales spend a good part of our day feeding. To catch enough food, whales like this southern right whale have to swallow thousands of gallons of water. How much food will this whale eat a day? Oh, about two tons of plankton, give or take a few ounces. Hey, what's that white stuff on her side? That's just a growth right whales have around their jaw, eyes, and cheeks. Those are called callosities. Callosities! Whale lice and all kinds of barnacles live in these callosities. You could think of a callosity as a, a city of little animals living on the whale. The right whale doesn't seem to mind at all. And the callosities are very helpful if you need to tell one right whale from another. Oh, fish sticks. What's the matter, Jake? Oh, my copy of Weekly Whale News got all wet. You shouldn't have put it on the floor, Jake. I know. The tank is still leaking. Well, is it my imagination, or has this water gotten higher? Well, the water is getting higher. If not, then your imagination is getting my feet wet. Oh, dear. Don't worry. A little water won't hurt you. You're right. And besides, it's time to watch... <laughs> Baby, Baby Talk. talk. <laughs> Hey, come on, Mom. Let's go this way. Which way, honey? Uh, this way. I'll race you. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. I'm going. Look, I'm a lot faster than you, huh, Mom? Oh, yes, dear. <laughs> yes, of, of course you are, dear. Yeah. You're very fast. Yes. I used to be fast like you when I was young. Wow. <laughs> oh, I do like a good race now and then. Yeah. Well, now I'm gonna go up here to see what the air smells like. You do that, honey. Okay. Mmm, hey, Mom. Come on, you do it, too. All right. <laughs> oh, very nice. That's dear. nice, huh, Mom? But I think we've had enough exercise for today. Oh. Time for a rest. Oh, you're right, Mom. All that fresh air made me really tired. Mommy's always right. We'll just settle down here and have a little nap. Hey. <laughs> you know what? What? I love my mom. I love you too, dear. <laughs> so, how's the water, Andrew? Oh, there's plenty in here, Jake. But the tank is still leaking. How can you be sure? Well, I can see the fish swimming around your ankle. So you can. Oh, uh, well, while we take care of the fish, here's a song about how animals communicate. Say, those aren't piranhas, are they? Oh, oh, oh. Just kidding, Jake. Oh. <laughs> Ow! Oh, ah. You don't have to talk to communicate. A whistle, a squeak, they can sound just this great. Knows the answer. Sir? Yeah. Tell me, 
Which of these animals is the closest relation to the whale? Is it the elephant seal, the manatee, the hippo, or the dolphin? Your answer? Well, you know, I'd have to say manatee, because you know why? Because I like to say manatee. Manatee, 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 manatee,
the deep blue sea Well, you'd be wrong, so hear my song I sing so lyrically Dee, 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 dee. It's one big mystery Life is full of invention Look, you only have to mention me See that whale, his mighty tail I bet his voice will shake the deep blue sea But you'd be wrong, this is my song I sing so lyrically Mystery It's one big mystery Beautiful song, Andrew. Yeah, thanks, Andrew. Have a good trip back to sea. And speaking of sea, let's see what's coming up next. Mm. And now it's time for... Oh, oh, uh, the Animal Awards. Mm. Let's find out which of the following whales has the most teeth. Yeah, no guessing the answer, Uncle Ahab. I'm not talking to you anymore. Good. Is it the killer whale? Ooh. The sperm whale? Or the humpback whale? And the winner is... The sperm whale. The sperm whale can have over... Teeth. Ooh, there she blows, the sperm way. Winner of today's Animal Award. Oh, Jake, your book is all wet. Mm. Yeah, I know. I left it next to my copy of Weekly Whale News, but mm. it doesn't really matter because water is the perfect setting for today's story. Mm. Once upon a time, all the whales in the world gathered for Show a Tail Day. First, Winnie, Walter, and Wanda Whale did their famous three whales and a tail trick. Then Warren Whale executed a perfect tail wave. Yoo-hoo, me too, waved Willoughby Whale in reply. Wilhelmina Whale demonstrated her terrific tail thump. And her best friend Willa thumped back. Not to be outdone, Wellington Whale then performed his double flipper flop. Watch this, said Winona Whale, doing the difficult sideways swirl. Finally, Wagner Whale ended Show a Tail Day with the celebrated Wee-Haw! I'm a Whale maneuver! And so the whales and their tails lived happily ever after. The end. Oh, Jake, that was a swell story. Thanks, Stinky. Uh, and now, Stinky, I think we better do something about that leaky whale tank. This water keeps getting higher and higher. Oh, well, don't worry, Jake. It's just a little leak. Oh. Oh, my oh, goodness. Oh, oh, oh dear. Uh, oh. Hello, everybody. Whoa. It's uh, habitat time. Hey, the water's coming in pretty fast and furious. I sure hope we're going someplace dry. Well, we would be Whoa. if we weren't going to the ocean. Well, uh, come on. Uh, more water? Uh, well, what do you mean? Uh, come uh, on, this way, Armstrong. Oh, no. Follow me. Whoa. Oh, I think I'm going to be sick. What's that green stuff? It's sargassum weed. It lives and grows on the open ocean, making food for minerals in the water and getting energy from the sun. Huh. Ooh, what is that? It's a Portuguese man of war, Armstrong, a very poisonous jellyfish. Stay away from those tentacles. Yeah, no problemo. Oh, look, there's somebody waving over there. Hey, hello there, little guy. Uh, who are you? The sargassum weed acts as a floating nursery for lots of baby sea creatures, Armstrong. It gives them food and shelter until they're old enough to fend for themselves. This is a goose barnacle lava. Right here are some even smaller creatures which live in the sargassum weed. These are all different kinds of plankton and baby crustaceans. There are some seriously weird-looking things in this weed. You know, normally, we wouldn't even be able to see these things without a microscope. That's how small they are. They hide in the weed until they're old enough to fend for themselves. The weed carries many larvae to tropical seas. Oh, and what's going on here? Oh, this colonial filter feeder likes to eat all those little things which we just saw. The colony uses fringed tentacles to grasp passing prey and drag it into its mouth. 
And there's a baby sea slug. Oh, hey, is somebody gonna eat him too? Not if he stays hidden in the weed. You mean he's gotta be a no sea slug? Eh? <laughs> Right. Uh, well, okay, Armstrong, I uh, think it's time to go. <laughs> no sea slug, no sea slug. Armstrong, where do you get them? <laughs> uh, good question, Ooh. Armstrong. Whoa. For habitat time, it's whoa, a uh, bunny bear. Oh, and Armstrong, the floating chicken hawk. Uh, Just back from the ocean. Oh, and it looks like the ocean came back with whoa. us. Over to you, Rhonda. Whoa. <laughs> Is it grill, squid, or herring? You want an answer? My answer is, I'm not sticking around to find out if that whale eats me. Oh, that silly fish. He was quite safe because the real answer is krill. Humpbacks filter the krill through their mouth and eat thousands of these tiny creatures every day. I'm Ron Rat reporting on krill. Run to the little I guess the tank is done leaking. That's true. We are going to turn it into water. Well, that's all we have time for today. I want to thank our very special guest, and the humpback already swam out to the sea. Now, how are we going to get rid of all this water? Until next time, keep on sitting.